Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's showtime. The ghost with the most is back. And we're getting our first look at Michael Keaton in the upcoming sequel, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! The iconic character looking just as ghastly as the last time we saw him, Keaton rocking his signature black and white suit and green hair. Hanging out where it all began, the Deets' spooky attic. What was it like revisiting one of your most iconic on-screen characters again? Fun, really fun. This tremendous cast and uh, Tim was really really right back in his not comfort zone but i could tell he was having fun uh which is really contagious when you're around that you know that environment it's, it's something that's special to me and i had a beautiful people to help me make something that nobody knew what it was also making a return lydia deets herself winona Ryder. i myself am strange and unusual She's back in black, channeling a now grown-up gothic look alongside newcomers Justin Thoreau and Wednesday's Jenna Ortega as Lydia's daughter Astrid. It looks cool. Everyone did an incredible job. What makes Jenna Ortega the perfect oh boy, offspring good. for Lydia Dietz? Oh man, she's good. She just got it, you know. She just she's got the tone. She, she showed up and just immediately knew what the tone was and just slipped in like she does that every day. Oh yeah, she's she's really special. We first got a glimpse of Jenna on set back in July, filming what appears to be a wedding scene. Shall we? And while the film's plot is being kept under wraps, it looks like we're getting a wedding and a funeral. I felt so lucky to be there. It was, it was insane. It was like... It just, I can't wait for people to see that one. And we can't wait to see this sequel. If you don't let me gut out this house and make it my own, I will go and stay and I will take you with me. Also back, Delia Deeds, played by Catherine O'Hara, appearing alongside her stepdaughter's family at a cemetery. What was it like reuniting with Catherine? Oh man, I didn't have to reunite. She's my pal, so I see her all the time. The new film comes more than 35 years after the original, and Michael says it almost didn't happen. It took a while to get there. And, uh, didn't really think we were going to do it, and didn't want to do it various times, you know, the past few years. But it was just, it was more fun than the other one. E.T. was on set of the first film back in 1987. That's cute, William. <laughs> We were lucky because a lot of the effects on this film were mechanical and we could see them. But still, even though you can see them, you can only, you know, scream and gasp and back off so many times. Oh, yeah, here I come, baby. I made the choice of which direction I would go and there's no turning back from that. <laughs> and nobody went, stop doing that, Mike. So I just said, okay, I'm going to keep going like this. Here's to hoping he brings that same eerie energy to the sequel when it haunts theaters on September 5th. What do you think of this? Ah!